It was hard for the scientists to figure out how thousands of starlings can fly and turn in synchronized flights. They never collide with each other while turning at such high speeds. In 1890, in the New York City, there was an ornithologist named Eugene Shifflin. He vowed to introduce many bird species to the USA that William Shakespeare mentioned in his work. 100 European starlings were imported from England. These starlings were in cages. The starlings were taken to the Central Park of the New York City. Ceremonial songs were sung and these hundred starlings were released. The European starling population took off from there. Now they are commonly found in the USA, Canada and Mexico. In more than 100 years, European starlings have become one of the top 10 most common birds in the USA. There are more than 200 million European starling descendants from the original 100 birds. I live in Bakersfield. My town is close to the western edge of this country. Let's see if we find any starlings in my town. This is a small crossing close to my house. There are almost 100 starlings here. In my town, if not a million, there are probably thousands of starlings. These starlings, they gather here in the morning before going to the feeding grounds and in the evenings before going to the roosting sites. Starlings gather in large numbers in winter and fall months to perform murmurations. It was hard for the scientists to figure out how thousands of starlings can fly and turn in synchronized flights. They never collide with each other while turning at such high speeds. Each starling in a flock communicates with few starlings only. The movement of these starlings are followed and copied. This leads to synchrony in the flock to move at the high speeds to create all the baffling patterns. The murmurations are flights that help starlings protect against predators. It is also described that they help in communication within the flock. The main reason behind starling success in this country is that it's a generalist species. Starlings are omnivore. They feed on grains, seeds, roots, berries, and fruits. They also feed on insects, other invertebrates, and garbage. Starlings in the USA have gained a notorious pest status. Their damage to grapes, berries, figs, and cherries range in hundreds of millions of dollars each year. Ranchers find these birds in their feedlots waiting to steal the grains from the cattle. A flock of 1,000 birds would eat 1.5 tons of cattle feed costing ranchers loss of money. In 1960, a Lockheed airplane was struck with a flock of starlings on takeoff and crashed, resulting in 62 human fatalities and 9 injuries. Being one of the most common birds, starlings are the main birds striking the airplanes in the USA. Introduce species, reduce the biodiversity in the new land because they do not have any natural predators. They also compete for resources with the native species. The native species usually lose the battle and become endangered or extinct. In the USA, European starlings are cavity nesters. They look for protected holes in the tree trunks to nest and raise chicks. They steal the cavities of other birds and chase them out. This type of nest stealing affects woodpeckers, bluebirds, and sapsuckers. The starling population has been declining in England for the last many decades. 
Since 1970, starling population has declined 66%. Because of this decline, starlings are red-listed as a bird of high conservation concern. On the other hand, 100 starlings introduced in the USA had explosive growth to turn into more than 200 million. Starlings in the USA are now the top 10 most common birds. Music